Namaste. Welcome all of you. Welcome to the second lecture in this series of online classes. Now, first of all, we are going to start with the interesting thing. Last in the, in, in my last lecture, I had given the quiz. Okay, quiz to the students who attended it, they would be able to solve it. Okay, this was the quiz. How the profit or loss is distributed among the partners? As per the provisions of Partnership Act 1932, if partners did is silent about the profit sharing ratio. Okay, and the four options were given there. Now let's see who has given the answers and who is the lucky winner. See, this many people has given the answer. Six students has given the answer. And let's see. The Shauni. Shauni is the lucky winner of this quiz, of this first lecture. Who is the winner? Shauni. Shauni is the lucky winner. Okay? Shauni is the lucky winner. Because she solved the quiz for the first. And who is next? Next is Nevgi. Next is Aniket. Then Harsh, Patel and Sakshi Belwalkar. Okay? Very, very, very good. All of you have solved very properly and Shavani, Shavani gave the answer for the, Shavani is the student who answered the first and, and the interesting thing is that all of the students have answered properly, answered nicely. The answers of all the students is correct, that is C, the profit is distributed equally among the partners. Very, very nice. Now students, you have again the chance to solve the quiz of this week also, okay? For that, you have to watch this entire video because that quiz is depending on that video. Okay, now let's move. Now, what we are going to learn? We are we are learning bookkeeping and accountancy standard 12th. Okay. This is our book. Okay. Again, we are on lesson number one that is introduction to partnership and partnership panel accounts. Okay. What we have covered so far? See, last time in our lecture one, we have covered meaning and definition of partnership, Indian Partnership Act 1932. Okay. Now, in this lecture, what we are going to learn? That is methods of capital account. Okay. We are going to learn different methods of capital account. This much of points, understanding meaning of partnership, features of partnership, Indian meaning of Indian Partnership Act 1932, importance of partnership deed, provisions applicable in absence of partnership. If partnership deed is not made or is silent about something, then what are the provisions? Okay. And now today we are going to learn how to maintain the capital accounts of partner. So this 6.5 points we have already done. Okay. And now we are going to learn how to mint capital accounts of partner. See, as per the competency statement also, you have covered these five things. Meaning of partnership, important features of partnership, meaning of Indian Partnership Act, importance of partnership deed and provisions applicable. Okay, these things has been done. Okay, so today we are going to learn how to maintain capital accounts of partner. Okay, now let's move. See, now we are going to maintain the accounts, maintain the books of accounts of the partnership firm, right? See, what is basically, oh, first of all, what is basically capital? What is meant by capital? See, amount in cash or kind, kind means anyway. Okay, amount in cash or kind, type brought in by the partner to manage business activities is termed as capital. Partner maintains, maintains and operates some methods of capital account. What do they do? See, for sole proprietorship, it is a different and for partnership, it is maintaining of accounts is again a different way. See, partner, partners maintain and operate some methods of capital account. Basically, there are two methods of capital account discussed over here. How many methods? Two. These are the methods of capital account. First is fixed capital method and the another is fluctuating capital method. 
okay in a fixed capital method again there are two sub types capital account and current account these two accounts we have to create we have to make under what fixed capital method and what is in fluctuating capital method that we are going to see in next lecture under fluctuating capital method method only one account is maintained that is capital account is maintained why why not two that we will see in the next lecture okay see what we are going to learn today in this lecture methods of capital account maintaining the accounts of partnership under fixed capital method we are going to learn only today fixed capital method that is one method in this method we have to create two account capital account and current account okay now see what are the methods of capital account how to maintain the capital accounts of partnership or of the partners c in sole proprietorship form of business only one capital account is required to be maintained but in partnership firm there are many capital accounts are required to be maintained whose as much as of partners are there that many of partners account we have to maintain in partnership understood up to here in case of partnership firm all transactions relating to the partners right are recorded in their respective capital accounts okay all the transactions of the partners are recorded in their respective capital accounts see the first method is fixed capital method in this method what it, what is done amount of capital of amount of capital of partners remains the same see this is the basic thing amount of capital amount of capital of the partners remains same at the end of that financial year okay there is no addition or subtraction from the capital during the year see this this is their condition as per the agreement if they are following the fixed capital method if they are following the fixed capital method then there is no addition or subtraction from the capital during the year the capital must remain the same at the end of the financial year okay when this method is adopted partners open a new account in the name of partners current account right why because he cannot touch this capital account okay Capi uh, uh, making any kind of entry is not allowed in the capital account because whatever balance is at the start must be at the end of the financial year so where he will make the another entries for that he maintains some another account that is named named as partners current account okay current and all the related related entries of the capital adjustment right another entries that is uh, involved in day to day transactions of that capital relating to the capital are sold through the partners current account for example drawings interest on drawings interest on capital partners salary commission brokerage and the share of profit and loss account are re are recorded in current account why in the capital account whatever capital they have brought they have to maintain it till the end okay they don't they don't want to disturb it okay neither they want to show it as increase neither they, nor they want to show it as decrease so for the other day to day transactions they maintain another account that is partners current okay understood up to here now let's move in fixed capital account okay they, they have to maintain two cap two accounts one is fixed capital account and another is an in uh, and fluctuating capital account right in fixed capital account what is done under this method the balance of partners that is main capital account remains constant or fixed which never changes balance of capital account never changes right that is always remains unchanged that is why it is called as fixed capital method under th this method again two accounts are maintained see 
If partners are not allowed to change their capitals during the business life, business life means financial life. If they are not allowed to change their capital, they don't want to play anything with that capital. Okay, capital amount during that business life, except the extraordinary cases mentioned in the agreement. Except some, and there are some extraordinary things, extraordinary events which are mentioned, which must be mentioned in their agreement. Then only it is allowed to do entries in the capital account. Otherwise, they are not allowed to change their, not allowed to change their capital. Okay, it is called as fixed capital account. See, the capital account is kept fixed. Okay. See, under fixed capital account, we have to maintain two books of accounts. One is partner's capital account and another is partner's current account. Always remember that. Increase in capital. See, capital is a always shown in liability. Okay, so increase in capital is shown as shown at credit side. Okay, of capital account and decrease in capital account is always shown at debit side of the capital account. In always remember, increase in capital is shown at credit side of the capital account and decrease in capital account is always shown at debit side of capital account. Now we have to mean another is partners, uh, partners capital account. We'll see. Partners uh, capital accounts and drawings accounts are of type representative personal accounts, right? These are the type of personal accounts. Which kind of personal accounts? Representative personal accounts. Which two accounts? Capital account and drawings account are of the type representative personal account. Why? Because both of these accounts represents owners' accounts, okay? They represent represents the owners' accounts. That's why they are representative personal account. See, it, what is the pro forma of fixed capital method? Under pro forma, under fixed capital method, this is the pro forma of partners' capital, okay? Partners capital account, the balance of this account is always a credit balance. Okay, in this account, only capital invested by partner is recorded, right? Only capital invested by the partner is recorded. Why? We have to keep it fixed. If any additional cap uh, capital is introduced or part of the capital is withdrawn by the partners. Permanently, as per the agreements among the partners, then only that entry will be done in the in this account, which account, partners capital account, right? Because they want, they don't want to play with it. Okay, they don't want to touch it for any purpose. Only if additional capital is introduced or brought brought in by the partners, or withdrawn or permanent withdrawn are there. Okay, then only these entries are made in the capital account. Otherwise. No any entry is made in the capital account. It is kept as fixed. Usually, whatever capital is introduced by the partner, it is done at the start of the business itself, right? As capital is not added or withdrawn again and again, that is why the capital balance always remains unchanged. This is the obvious thing, right? Because generally, this capital is brought at the commencement of the business. Okay, it is not added again and again and not withdrawn again and again. Sometimes it is done. Okay, but in ideally it is not done again and again. That's why capital balance remains unchanged. Okay, as no any other transaction with reference to their capital is entered in this account, the balance of capital account remains always remains same, always remains unchanged because no any other transaction is allowed, right? Always remains, and as the opening balance is paid or credit, closing balance will also be always credit. Please note that this withdrawn does not mean the drawings. See, drawings is some different thing in withdrawn. Withdrawn is a different thing. Drawings are different, which are done for personal use. Okay, which are of temporary nature, temporary withdrawals. Okay, here withdrawals, withdrawals means if the partners are decreasing the main capital 
purposely then only the accounting entry is made in the capital account right drawing is something different drawing does not mean the withdrawal okay drawings are temporary temporary withdrawals okay but the withdrawals from the capital permanently withdrawals from the capital okay those are only shown in the capital account those are only shown in the shown in the capital account okay capital account account always has credit balance so we start with credit side with how do we start with the capital account how do we start to write the capital account by the credit side with by balance brought down why because capital account always has a credit side credit side so we start always with by balance by balance brought down by balance brought down why it then credit side right if partners have added new capital during the entire year it will also be credited as by cash or bank account to partners capital account why they have introduced new capital so via cash or bank okay so it then it would be credit it would also be credited credited to the partners capital account similarly if some withdrawals are made by the partners okay from the main capital account during the year then it is debited to the partners account how how it is debited as to cash or bank account why the withdrawals may be done by cash or by bank okay so if the withdrawals are done it is written as to cash or bank account to capital account partners capital account that is called as capital withdrawal always remember capital withdrawal does not mean the drawings then whatever is the total of the debit side that is deducted from the total of the credit side of each partner and we will get the balance balancing amount which we write as to balance carry it down see we debit the we delete or uh, we deduct the total balance of debit side from the total balance of credit side and the remaining balance that is a balancing figure that we write as to balance carry it down this balancing amount or balancing figure at the end of the financial or accounting year which is written against to balance carry it down is carried to the capital account right that balancing figure is carried to the capital account which capital account in the balance sheet that is the same amount which is the balancing figure that is carried to the balance uh, which is written against to balance carried out is carried to the account capital account carried to the capital account under liabilities okay in the balance sheet this will be the opening balance of the next year why closing balance of the earlier year will be the opening balance of the next year generally or mostly whatever is the opening balance of the capital account remains the same right as closing balance whatever amount of capital is given in the problem generally you have simply write it at the credit side of the capital account right whatever uh, amount has been given you have to simply write at the credit side of the capital account the same amount will be balanced will be by balance brought down whatever is the opening will be by balance brought down and to balance carried down for generally no any additional capital is introduced no big withdrawals are done okay that closing balance of every year remains the same but if it is mentioned in the problem that additional capital is introduced okay additional capital is introduced write it in the credit side of the capital withdrawal write it in the credit side and if capital withdrawal is given then write it in the debit side of the, debit side of the capital account see if new additional capital is introduced okay additional capital is introduced then we have to write it at the credit side why increase in the capital increases the credit side and capital is withdrawn okay then write it in the debit side okay but this addition or withdrawn does not take place regularly okay if it is given in the problem then accounting treatment will be done 
as mentioned above or as as they have agreed in the agreement okay this is not the regularly happening phenomenon see what are the journal entries when additional capital is introduced by a partner okay additional capital is introduced by a partner what is the journal entry cash or bank account debit to partner's account partner's capital account that is additional capital introduced is in the business when capital account amount is brought by partner in the form of assets he bought he brings capital in the form of some assets then they trace assets account debit to partner's capital account okay now next is partner's current account when fixed capital method is adopted by the partnership firm a new separate account is opened new separate account is opened that is partner's current account in this account all adjustments related to capital are recorded remaining all adjustment to the capital are recorded partner's current account may show the debit or credit balance see it may show debit or credit balance why it will show the debit balance in which case it will show debit balance and in which case it shows the credit balance that we see ahead see which other things see in partner's capital account partner's capital account only the initial capital right initial capital they have brought in or they have made it, brought some uh, capital inside only those things are shown and any withdrawals are then they made by them permanently only these things are shown in capital account and losses okay losses are adjusted there right see but in current account losses are adjusted in the current account but other things like drawings made that is not shown over here goods or any assets taken by over by the partner not shown over here interest on partner's capital allowed that is also not shown over here interest on partner's drawing charged it is also not shown over here salary commission etc not shown over here payable to the partner are not shown here distribution of profit or loss also not shown over here so for this thing this many thing we don't make the entries in capital account so for maintain, maintain, maintaining the this entries what do we maintain we maintain current account partners current account okay here only initial capital and the capital brought in or in terms of forms of cash or any asset and any big withdrawals are drawn okay only these things are maintained in capital account and remaining all day to day transactions activities are maintained in the partners current account a separate account is maintained that is partners current account partners current account in capital account we write accounting entries which are related to the main capital right but apart from this there can be many other transactions occurring in the day to day right right in the entire year 